All right, joining Jerry, Oral, and me here on the set, it is Bobby Miller. Bobby, congratulations coming off a, an excellent rookie season for the Dodgers last year. Now as you head into year two, how would you describe your, your level of confidence, belief in yourself that you can be not just an effective pitcher, but really dominate at this level the way that you always wanted to? Yeah, I mean, that's the goal. Um, it was a great year last year. Uh, we fell a little short at the end. Um, Shorter than we wanted to come, you know. Um, but I'm really excited for this year, and, and that's the goal is to dominate at this level and, and stay here with the guys. And, you know, um, who wouldn't want to be a part of this? Absolutely. You know what, Bobby? I've always been a fan of yours, especially when you came over here with the Dodgers. Uh, you're a guy that has not only ace stuff, you mentioned stuff to dominate. I want to talk about your very first outing because when you got called up to the big leagues, you were only supposed to be here a couple starts, but you forced your way onto this roster to stay. Talk about the nerves in Atlanta and being able to shut them down. Yeah, uh, the nerves nerves were very high. Uh, <laughs> nerves were very high. I, I was very nervous going into it, but um, once you take a step on that mound, all those feelings just go away, you know. Um, you step on that mound and you just think to yourself, you know, this is the same game. Just more people in the stands. Just tune out all the other stuff out there and just focus on getting those guys out. You know, um, having my first pitch of that game being an out made me feel a lot more comfortable, even though it was like 113 <laughs> off the bat. But, <laughs> but, yeah, he's a good hitter. What can I say? You know, you've been fantastic, but there has been some growth, right? You learned a lot last year. What from what you learned last year went into your offseason program? Yeah, I'm just um, – the stuff was there, but just commanding all the stuff, you know, um, throwing better pitches and pitchers counts, getting back into the counts, um, just being as efficient as possible is what I learned throughout last year. You know, even when the strikeouts weren't there, just try to be as efficient as possible and uh, go deep into the game as I possibly could to give our bullpen a chance, you know. Everybody always talks about there's such a huge difference between AAA and the big leagues. Like there's almost a level of 4A. That level is, is even skipped. When did you first realize, and maybe it was Acuna, the first batter you faced, where you realized, okay, in AAA, no way is a guy getting a hit off of that. But here in the big leagues, some got, somebody did. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, obviously there, there's a lot more video that you have in the big leagues to scout certain guys. But, um, you know, when you're coming up in the minor leagues, you go like low A, high A, double A, triple A, and it's not just one more step up to the big leagues. It's like from triple A all the way up here. You know, it's yeah. it's a huge step. But, um, you know, you learn to get used to it a little bit once you learn how to scout the hitters a little better each time out there. And um, just looking forward to keep getting better at that. You know, how excited are you, not just for the season, but being a part of an elite rotation? You know, I'm going to put put myself in the mind of a hitter saying, if we're facing the Dodgers in a four-game series, you got Yamamoto, you got Glasnow, you got Bueller, and then Bobby Miller, that's a tough four-game <laughs> stretch for a hitter. How excited are you? You are an ace right now, but also in a rotation full of aces. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, but um, I, I'm really excited to be part of it. Um, you know, I, I learned so much from the guys here, you know, whether it's Walker or Clayton last year, you know, I learned so much just by watching those guys. And um, we got some new guys this year, and I'm excited to learn from them as well. From the facial expressions to the tone of your voice, are you always a flatliner? Or are yeah. you, like, I love the smile right there. Well, what's he has going to be on? oral. He's a what's Bears fan. What's going on inside you? Because <laughs> you have the mentality of a closer. Like, like you could go postal at any time. <laughs> <laughs> there's that bear fan again. That. Yeah, yeah, there's a bear <laughs> fan in me. Exactly. But, but as a starter, you know, you got four days in between starts, sometimes three, sometimes five, whatever. How do you maintain that? And then do you have a game face? Um, I mean, I'm kind of just a straight face out there, whether what it is, you know, try not to let my emotions get ahead of me. Uh, that's something I struggled with coming up throughout the minor leagues, and I think that's helped me a lot once I got to the big leagues is learning how to control my emotions and uh, being better mentally out there. So the hamsters are really going inside. You're, yeah, you're, the 100%. Are there, yeah, you might not see it, not but you know, I, got, I got a good poker face out there. <laughs> how right. do you do that, though? Because it sounds a lot more difficult than you're making it sound that you learned how to control your emotions because if you're naturally a fiery guy and you run a little hot, how do you cool yourself off when there are those moments where things aren't going your way? Yeah, I'm really just focused on not getting too high and not too low. Even when things are really going my way, you know, um, there was times last year, you know, I get out of a bases loaded, nobody out jam, and I, I, got, I got too high in those moments, you know, and that could affect me later in the game, you know. Um, and not just staying fully locked in after those moments, you know, um, just focus on the rest of the game, think long term, and 
just get as far as the game as possible and not just uh, be worried about that one inning where I got out of a jam. You know what I love about you too, Bobby? You're not afraid to pitch inside. Even as a hitter, I always say pitchers need to pitch inside 100%. to make sure the hitter doesn't get too comfortable. I just remember a game, I guess it was against Zach McKinstry. You uh, went up and in a little bit, and then <laughs> you were interviewed after the game and said, hey, man, it's his job to get out of the way. I just love that mindset because facing guys like Pedro Martinez back in the day, Roger Clemens, they dominated because there was a sense of fear from the pitcher knowing, hey, he may come up and in. I never hit anybody on purpose. They had 60 feet, 6 inches to get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I definitely did not hit him on purpose. That's for sure. Um, I completely forgot about how Lance hit him. <laughs> the time before, so I was a little confused. But um, yeah, you, as you said, you got to show that you're not afraid to pitch inside, you guys. You know, um, otherwise you're not gonna have a you're not gonna have a lot of uh, good luck out there. You're not gonna have a lot of success out there if you show you're afraid to pitch the guys inside. Well, Bobby Miller had a lot of success last year in his rookie season with the Dodgers. We cannot wait to see Thank what you. year two holds for you, Bobby. Appreciate Thanks it. so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Bobby. Thank Appreciate you. it, buddy.